Hello again everybody. So what I'm doing today is I purchased some hamburger meat yesterday at Walmart. They actually have it for $3.67 a pound versus $5.29 a pound at Kroger's, which I'm not really shopping at Kroger's anymore anyways. But what I do is I take my bag, I make the size that I want from the roll, seal it on one end. I usually label it beforehand and something went stupid with my uh, marker and it didn't dry. My other marker is just about gone so I just went ahead and went back to my other marker. I label it what it is, ground chuck, tube 2022. I put it in here. Yes, I'm doing this on my washing machine. I actually prepare the meat, all the packages in my kitchen and then bring them in here as I go. So I get it set up, close it down, get it ready to go, hit the vacuum and seal button. <laughs> and there you have it. This meat will last me. I've got meat that's over a year old that I'm using. Just verify your seal. When you put your meat in, make absolutely sure that you clean off this area. That way you don't run the risk of having the meat interfere with your seal. I take and wipe it down with a wash rag and then I dry it off because you don't want it to be wet because it may not seal. But you can check and see that it is sealed. You can squeeze it and it's just like it's supposed to be so yeah it works great and if I wanted to um, I used to cut these in half actually and only do half a pound at a time and I used up a lot more resources because I was pretty much using about the same size bag anyways um, I wasn't eating a lot I'm still not eating a lot of hamburger meat like this that's why I don't buy much of it anymore I've got probably 50 pounds of it, uh, some canned, some uh, in the freezer. I have most of mine in the freezer, so if things were to go to crap and we'd lose power, I can run my freezer for a while. Worst case scenario, if I wasn't able to run my freezer, um, i just cook it all, feed it to the dog, or cook it all and share with uh, friends and family. So. That's how I do my meat when I'm not pressure canning it. This is a regular food saver with the port attachment, which I've never been able to make work. I've tried multiple different ways. I've looked at a lot of different videos on how to do it. I've asked questions, and every time I pull my lid off the vacuum seal part, it pulls the whole thing off. It's like it doesn't even try. So, anyhow. Hope you guys got something good out of this. Remember, what's most important is there are a few problems in life that cannot be solved by a battleship broadside. Have a good one.